the official Jurassic World Dominion trailer just dropped a couple days earlier than expected. I am not done talking about it and I guess you aren't either. That's why you clicked on this video. I want to talk about my favorite most hype inducing moments in the trailer and just keep holding on to this excitement for Jurassic World Dominion. I know that a good trailer doesn't mean that the movie is going to be great. For example, the Fallen Kingdom trailer, I rewatched it recently and it's a fantastic trailer, but I didn't really end up liking the movie that much, but I'm gonna hold on to hope for this one because my god, that trailer for Jurassic World Dominion, it was packed with so many good, exciting things. They definitely have a lot of elements to make this a fantastic movie. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed until June 10th and see what we get. For now, I wanna talk about what I think are the very best moments and I'm going to talk about them in order. So let's just get started. The first moment from the trailer that I wanna talk about that I wanna highlight is the moment that Baby Blue is officially revealed. I was a little on the fence about whether I like the concept or not. Actually, I'm still on the fence, but I have to admit that seeing the scene, seeing them run together, it brought a smile to my face. I did really enjoy it. So I hope that they utilize this well in the movie itself, that it's not gonna be too cheesy. Um, but it gives me hope that I can get on board with this idea. And it's just, it's adorable. The next moment is the scene where the Therizinosaurus is chasing Claire and forcing her to hide in the lake. What I love about this, we'll talk about we'll talk about the Pyroraptor later. What I love about this is that they're making herbivorous dinosaurs dangerous. They're even though they don't have a hankering for meat, they don't want to snack on your booty, they're still big and they're dangerous. And I love that they show that, that they show the herbivorous dinosaurs as a real threat. The Mosasaurus is the reason for most of the hype for me in 2015. Seeing the Mosasaurus in that trailer and in the movie eventually was like the big oh, moment for me for that movie. And I really want to see more of this oversized mammoth in Jurassic World Dominion. And this little scene that we see in the uh, in the trailer is a great indication of what we might expect for the film. I really hope that it's not just going to be this singular attack. I want to see more of the Mosasaurus. And I also really want to see how they deal with it. Because I can really only see it going two ways. Either... You know, the Mosasaurus ends up just living its life out in the open sea, snacking on the occasional whale or fishing boat. <laughs> or I guess it might die, they might kill it. I don't really see how they could capture her and then relocate her to some safe place. I, I really think it's gonna be either she just lives out her days in the open ocean or she dies. Oh my god, after decades of people saying that feather dinosaurs can be just as scary as non-feather dinosaurs, those people are finally going to be proven right because the Pyroraptor is, is scary and it's fully, fully feathered. And I honestly, I did not think we would ever see the day that we would see a fully, like fully feathered dinosaur in a Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World movie, but the day has come, hallelujah, and I think I think a lot of dinosaur fans are very excited that the franchise has finally taken this direction without actually stepping on its own uh, iconic aesthetic for the dinosaur. So I really love this. I love that we're getting both. You know, we still have the non-feathered blue Velociraptor, but we're also getting fully feathered raptors with the Pyroraptor. I think it's great. And it's gonna sell a lot of toys. The Atroci Raptor chase in Malta is exciting in and of itself, but it's made all the more exciting with the sudden appearance of an Allosaurus and a Carnotaurus. I, I'm, I'm so excited. I keep using that word, but it's, it's the word, okay? It's the word of the day, excitement. Uh, it's just so exciting to see dinosaurs in this populated environment. That's really what I want to see more of in Jurassic World Dominion. I mean, I know that we're going to remote locations as well, but give me more of dinosaurs within society, within civilization. 
terrorizing people, eating people. I want to see some carnage happen. Some, I want to see some random folk <laughs> die, okay? I'm sorry, I do. The attack of the Quetzalcoatlus on the airplane was epic. And it was definitely my favorite non-nostalgia based moment in the trailer there you know the the trailer is made better by you know uh appealing to a lot of nostalgia that us jurassic park fans have but you know if you disregard the nostalgia you know the quetzalcoatlus is an entirely new creature to get featured in this franchise i don't feel particularly nostalgic or affectionate towards uh owen grady and claire what's her last name claire deering <laughs> um and the new character of course uh you know have no particular connection with her at the moment either so you know there's there's no pre-existing love here but that scene is amazing because what a great way to show the size of the of the kids it's it's amazing and i cannot wait to see this scene in full Okay, and now we're getting to, I guess you could call it a little bit of nostalgia bait, a little bit of fan service, but I'm not mad at it. In fact, I'm completely in love with it. The return of the Dilophosaurus, wow. And the fact that it's an animatronic makes it that much better. It's, oh my god, I want to see this so bad. Wow, seeing the Dilophosaurus again, finally, not as a hologram, thank you very much. We don't need it as a hologram, we want it. We want it to be real. And not only is it real for the movie characters, it's real for us as well by making it an animatronic. Oh my god, my heart is racing. I am so, and here it is again, excited. There are so many good things about this scene. And it's, it's all fantastic. Of course, we have the return of the original Holy Trinity, Ian, Alan, and Ellie. Uh, the combination of them with the new characters, including Kayla, the newest character. Uh, we have Alan and Owen, who are basically the same person giving the same reaction. They're both doing like the, the protective dad thing with their arms spread out a little bit and their, their palms open, standing standing in front of the rest being all yeah being all protective dad i totally feel that and not just that but they also have uh basically the same line don't move which is which is a great reference of course to the don't moves that we've had in the past um but interestingly and that's what makes this scene even better is that it's for the characters, at least, the first introduction to the Giganotosaurus. And I'm really curious to see the full skill of the Giga next to the people. And yeah, like I said before, I want to see some carnage. Let the Giga do some damage and not just dinosaur on dinosaur damage. I want, I want to feel the real threat of these dinosaurs. As good as that scene is, though, nothing tops the initial first official reveal of Alan and Ellie, of course, that, that this trailer gives us. Now, us fans have known for a while that the original cast would be returning, so this is not necessarily a surprise for us. But for the average moviegoer, this would have been a surprise, you know, for people who are not up to date with all of the news and stuff. So, wow, I'm jealous of those people who didn't know and who just watched this trailer and had that reveal to them for the first time because that that's just epic that is absolutely fantastic and even though i knew it from from a while i've known it for months that they would be returning even for me it it was great i've loved these characters since 1993 so to see their return just brings a huge smile on my face i really hope that they use the characters well in the movie that they don't just use them for a couple of one-liners and and cheesy nostalgia bait kind of stuff i really hope that they make clever use of them that they do the characters justice and give them a real purpose in the movie i'm very surprised that the scene already establishes that alan and ellie 
they they're meeting again for the first time within the timeline of the movie. I kind of expected them to have been together before the start of Jurassic World Dominion, uh, but it seems like the events of the movie is actually what is bringing them together finally after all of this time. So yeah, that's a surprise, but if handled well, I'm not mad at it. It might be lame to have this be my most exciting thing about the trailer. You know, it's a trailer full of dinosaurs, but I'm picking a moment with just two people. But for me, and for a lot of people, let's be honest, Jurassic Park has always been more than just a dinosaur movie. It's also a movie with great story and great characters and actual character development. Seeing the return of Alan and Ellie is just the icing on the cake for me. And I cannot wait to see this in theaters. I want you guys to share your favorite moments of this trailer in a comment down below. Like I said, I am, I am on board the hype train right now and I'm all for it. I'm not mad at it. I'm just along for the ride at this point. I know I still have my concerns about the movie. I'll be totally honest about that with so many characters, so many dinosaurs, so many locations, so many set pieces. There is a definite concern on my side, but this trailer is just so dang good. <laughs> I want to curse it so good. <laughs> it's so dang good that I'm just excited. I can't figure out a different word for it. So yeah, share your own most exciting moments, most hype moments from the trailer in a comment down below. And if you're also on board the hype train, then please consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Like it? subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the hype. <laughs>